Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're getting our second starter because that's a thing in Gen 6 and I'm totally okay with it. And uh, then we're going to head down, uh, I want to say Route 5, 6, Route 5? That's where we are. I think we'd run into a... A mysterious Lucario who's like, ooh, you're so impressive, aren't you? But, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm of the impression that Lucario is, oh, what the heck is this? Is a little overrated. I mean, he's not one of my favorite Pokemon. I know we get one for free. I don't know how we're going to handle that. They want to make sure you have, like, Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. That's the real thing. Oh, Mega Evolution's a thing, guys. Anyway, so we're going to walk around the corner. What about you? Do you give me something? Hey, False Swipe. Yes, good for, uh... Good for catching the Pokemons, is it not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Ah, oh, that's nice. Thank you, lady. Uh, so let's let's give you a quick update on the team now that I've had a little more time to get to know get to know everybody. So last episode, the big exciting thing was that axe evolved. Swinging that axe, though. My goodness, how freaking awesome! does Frogadier look like way better than Greninja am I right it crossed my mind I like the design of this Pokemon so much I would is there anything to the like just Eevee lighting Frogadier and like yeah we'll just like just be really defensive could we do that is that a thing thoughts thoughts I mean way cooler than Greninja looking as far as I'm concerned um but yeah, the evolution, very nice in the last episode. Very impressive to the rest of the team as well. Just like, whoa, that was great. I think they, they understood that kind of power, which is really cool. Which is cool. Uh, specifically Chloeo. I think Chloeo wants that evolution. Chloeo is very much a, um, what, what I'm noticing, a uh, like ready, fire, aim kind of Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Very aggressive, very strong, um, and... Here's the thing. Uh, this is this is where I think where my role as the trainer comes in. Like, yes, very strong, but we have to like corral that because I think we have Noble Roar, which lowers our opponent, or Work Up, which raises us up. So if we can if we can get Chloeo uh, accustomed to using either of these at the start of a battle, I think she'll be pretty unstoppable. But it's just a matter of like swaying her to that because she just wants to get out there and be like well what headbutt <laughs> anyway um uh moving on to tarth though you would hardly find chloeo without tarth on her shoulder at this moment um i mean i think obviously chloeo uh pretty very strong tarth respects strength and chloeo wants to be very strong uh the weird thing about tarth i've mentioned this before is that we've had pidgeys in the past they like very much like are proud super like flock to whatever the strongest pokemon is and so initially with tarth that was axe because there was no other thing but the addition of tom john on the team has really it swayed tarth in a way i've not seen with other pages where she is just like all in on chloeo in terms of i think one it's like a little bit of girl power going on there which is fine by me it's cool but um more the look we know tom john's going to be a fire type and we already got a fire type. What are you doing here, bird? Other bird that isn't me? That's sort of the attitude here. Not to say that Chloeo and Tarth do both don't uh, recognize the strength of Axe. I want to say Chloeo might be a little afraid of water as well, uh, because Axe is a water type. I mean, she's afraid of it. That maybe that's like her. <laughs> I mean, it's literally her weakness, but that might be like more of a mental weakness thing as well. Um, so there you go. That leaves poor Tom John just in a really weird position, you know. Um, He's, he, you'd think maybe that he would bond with Mats as like the other sort of weaker Pokemon on the team, but it seems more like the attitude he's getting from these two is just making him double down on like a, no, I can't, I can't, I can't be friends with you. They already think of me as so, so low. What if, if I, that just, that just confirms it for them. So poor Mats just sitting down here. Oh, doesn't see much battle. Don't know him super well yet either but there we are um at the very least though so what i'm looking for from axe here moving forward is a little bit more probably like uh active leadership he's very like calm and meditated like you know you can tell his leadership style is one of like let them learn from their mistakes i'll be over here naturally knowing how to do things they'll they'll see how it goes but i you know that's that's a little more on me as well i think making sure that um, 
taking a little bit more active role so there you go a little bit of a, a little bit of descent in the team what we could all agree on is that axe is awesome and looks really cool as a frog of deer and that uh chloeo is very strong tarth on her way up though on her way up no doubt about that at first i was thinking of choosing only blah 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 okay hey what's up professor you want to fight this is cool that let you fight the professor I want to say once upon a time there was like oh oh look who's here guy okay so the way we record these is a few episodes ahead of when they're released so i now finally can uh reveal the names chosen for our lovely little rivals here um i there was a lot a lot of suggestions from all of you guys thank you all so much for all of them um but the boy the name that came up weirdly more than any was cauliflower so i was like let's go with that but which one mm, should be cauliflower and i decided that uh shauna will be cauliflower because she's just sort of like blah right i don't know i, I always go uh it doesn't matter i like cauliflower myself i i get the feeling maybe you guys don't like cauliflower that much to each their own, to each their own. And then the other one, this made me laugh just cause, because it's been such a joke on the channel lately, or at least on my social media, is, uh, ready, wait for it, Wine Gums. Yeah, Wine Gums is going to be uh, Serena. So we have Cauliflower and Wine Gums. Wine Gums, if you don't know, because you're American, are gummies in the UK. What, are we supposed to fight? Shall we start the battle? Yes! Just so you know, I'm not that tough. Well, I already knew that, so don't worry about it, bro. It's fine. It's fine. You're challenged by Professor Sycamore and his wonderful hair. He's got a Bulbasaur. He's got a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle and a Charmander. But we have Fire Lion. We have a Fire Lion. Yes, we do. It's going to shoot fire at your Bulbasaur and then it will die. Oh, see what I mean, though? I really should have done the work up. I forgot as well. Should have done the quick work up here. Is he going to send out Squirtle? Ah, oh, Squirtle! Oh, Squirtle! Oh. So, uh, obviously, we don't want to have uh, <laughs> this fight happening. So, we're going to switch it out to the Mighty Axe. Boom. Here we go. Just do a little water on water. We don't have any grass types yet. Ah, oh, Tail Whip. You wish, Squirtle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good shot, good show, good show. So we're just gonna have to use our uh, regular attacks here. Let's give her a quick, quick attack. Ba-boom! Show him what's up, Axe. Oh, it's not that strong, tackle. That shouldn't be that strong either, though. Yeah, pretty weak, pretty weak, Squirtle. Man, I've been considering who, which of the, um, oh, a withdraw, you see. Let's see how Lick does. I don't know if this would do any better. Lick is such a funny move to give a frog. Like, oh, he's got a giant tongue. Get it? <laughs> I get it. I see what they were going for. Axe taking a little more damage than I'd prefer right now. If we go ahead and, like, just knock the Squirtle out. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Wonderful. And then should have Charmander. And we're just going to Water Pulse that, and it's going to die. No problem. Yep. Here we go. Hey. See ya. Water, pulse, one hit, KO, do it. Foosh. And you just know, Chloeo's over there watching like, oh God, look what water does to fire, uh, you know. That's the thing, when you're always, when it, the stronger you are, the more afraid you are of your weakness. So, Dude, that's that's where she's at, but we'll, we'll sort it out. Hopefully she won't have to face down too much water in her day. I don't want her to, you know? At least she's afraid of something that she should be afraid of and not something like ridiculous. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Okay, so as I said in the last episode, we've already done playthroughs with Squirtle and Charmander and we've already got a water and fire type. Plus, now we get a poison type as well if we pick Bulbasaur. So I really don't see any way around it. I mean, I feel like it would be disrespectful to Donatello to go with the Squirtle. Um, since my last Charmander was named Luke, and Luke chose our 
starter it doesn't see, like you know this isn't your this is your time charmander so there's really only one choice that makes sense on like every conceivable way and that is the mighty grass type pokemon Balazar! yes do it oh it just happened people we have got the Bulbasaur, yeah oh yeah but now we have to give it a name what are we gonna name our Bulbasaur? Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? I would. Yes, thank you very much. Oh boy. Okay, Bulbasaur's nickname. Let's see, I gotta go. I don't know why. I just like the name Halt for a Pokemon. Like, we could send it out. Because Bulbasaur and Venusaur, like, Venusaur is eventually pretty bulky and tanky. I love the idea to just be like, Halt! Stop what you're doing! Go Halt! It's like an oxymoron. Go Halt! Go Stop! <laughs> I already like it. Welcome, Halt, the Bulbasaur, to the team. Yes, that's right, Halt. Mm-hmm. Since you chose Bulbasaur, I'll give you this Megastone, a Venusaurite. I love how he just, even though no one's figured out Mega Evolution, he's already like, here, you'll probably need this. You know, like, just carry this around. Oh, it's so difficult. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's these two. Mm -hmm. I guess, should we have nicknames for them? I guess they're, they're not really as much rivals as the other two are, but maybe we should still have nicknames for them anyway. So, um, I hadn't even considered that we might need a nickname for different NPCs in this game. Jeez. Anyway, be the best trainer you can be. Okay, what? That's not, I don't care about the Mega Stones. I mean, I mean, I care about Mega Stones. I don't care about your mission. You have missions for us, that's one thing. My mission is to become the champion, and I don't care about anyone else's thoughts for my future. See it, please go, let me leave. Okay, see ya, bye. Alright, cool, thanks everyone, you're all great. Thanks for the free Bulbasaur. What floor would you like to go to? 1F is where I would like to go to. Let's do the thing. Woo, actually, let's check out our Bulbasaur. Oh my gosh, why are there so many? Oh, Lysander. So, I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. Ah, here's one of them now. That's Jonathan. Jonathan, come here a sec. Ah, oh, you've received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. This is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I have learned, tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sigamore has taught me so much. Has he? Good to know he's in cahoots with you, homeboy. Great hair, by the way. Great hair. Reminds me of a certain Clovio on my team. Don't know why, but I do know why. My desire is for a more beautiful world. Okay, that's cool. I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. One with fire and destruction. It's not nice. He wants to blow us all up. I hope getting a Pokemon gives you a chance to learn about them. Yeah, it does. Look at that weird Gothitelle art back there. All right, that's all. Oh my gosh, let me go. Oh, hey, Big J, there's a place I want to check out. So I'll see you around. Whatever you say, Cauliflower. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you at the Cafe Soleil neighborhood. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I just got asked out twice. Why couldn't you just use the Hello Caster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Day, hey, Big J, if I had to get to camp for your town, leave the lab, turn and have to go straight. That Cafe Soleil Serenita was talking about is over that way, too. All right, you too. Bye. Here we go. All right, where's that Cafe Soleil? Oh, good. I already lost. Uh, I'm going to go a little way. All over this way. All right, wonderful. Cool. I want to check out my Bulbasaur. Let me go. I don't care about talking to you dumbos who don't even have names yet. Jeez, what's wrong with you? All right, first things first. Let's heal up. Healing, healing, healing. Yes. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Yes, you will. Oh, we have a full team. I didn't even... Oh, that's fantastic. Hooray. Oh, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Bye. See you later. Uh, hi. Yeah, bye. Bye. What's up? Can I get some great balls? Let's get, like, maybe five? Alright, sure. That seems good. And then can we get maybe some super potions? Oh, I've already got three. Um, I'll get three more. And then I feel like I want some of all of these. 
I want five of those. Yeah. And I want paralyzed heals. Mm hmm. We gotta have medicine on this playthrough, y'all. Uh, the awakening. I mean, awakening, less important as it's, you know, they'll wake up on their own. This is, uh, I bet we just have this stuff for the rest of the. Oh! No! I do not want that many. Excuse me. I bet we don't use either of those ice heals forever. And, eh, we're good. We're good. See ya. Cool. Thanks for all the stuff. Bye. Do you guys give me free stuff? Can you, can you give me a free? Give me free stuff. Yes? Oh, I've only got four. I can't trade my miles for anything. Bye. Let's go talk to swine gums. I guess it's this way, according to somebody. Do, 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 do. Hey, roller skates. Could you come here for a second? I mean, okay. If you want to ask me out, you don't have to just like command me around and trick me into going to get coffee with you. It's fine. It's fine. Like, you know, you can just be upfront about it. There's no need for all this confusion. Oh, it's Lysandra. And is that Diantha? Oh, boy. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars. Also, don't want to mention it, but the champion of this region? What? I wish you could have mentioned that. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? Hmm, what a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too, so I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You are chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? I don't really know if this guy understands movie stars. Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I don't know why they can't tell he's evil with his weird voices making my would make this world unchanging and eternal so all beauty will last forever. And by unchanging, I mean I'm going to blow it all up and then unchanging. So change, big change, then no change. That's what he means. I can't stand out of the world becoming a oh, oh, Jonathan. <laughs> this is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. And the champion. I feel like you guys are really missing out on the bigger deal here when you all trade Pokemon and you all know the answer and you're not telling me and I don't appreciate it. Oh, and who are you two? My name's uh, Winegums and this is uh, Jonathan, right? <laughs> I heard I wasn't eavesdropping about the names of 10 year olds or anything. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a trainer myself. Okay, yeah, and the champion. No worry. You know why she's not a good champion? Because, like, when Cynthia shows up, you're like, oh, crap, that's the champion. And, like, when Alder showed up, you're like, oh, crap, that's the champion. She's like, yeah, I guess I'm a trainer. Whatever, I'm a movie star. I do this in my spare time. Okay, great date. See you later. Wine gums. And we're off. What, is this Route 5 right here? Aha! It is! I'm pretty sure this is where we're going next. Oh, we still have- Oh my gosh! Every time I go to look at Bulbasaur... HALT! Um, uh, hey, so check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just helping wild Pokemon. Hurry, come check it out. Yeah, okay. Alright. Thank you, Holocaster Man. Can I play- I'm gonna go look at this Bulbasaur. I swear it. Let's see. What do we got? HALT! Somebody! Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mmm. Especially defensive. Very nice. Leech Seed. Oh, my God. You guys, Leech Seed, one of my favorite. One of my favorite moves. It's just, I feel like it's such a good, like, okay. We have a little bit of health coming. We are constantly hurting the opponent. Hasty. We have another Hasty. Likes to run. Not from battle, I hope. Just in general. Lots of energy. Let's hope that's what that means. Tackle Growl. Leech Seed and a Bind Whip. All right, Halt. Welcome to the team. We're very happy you're here. Oh, boy. I love the premiere ball. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. We shall see how Halt does it. Oh, switch. Switch. With, oh, gosh. The joystick is not good for moving around stuff like this. At all. Here we go. All right, Route 5. See y'all later. Bye, big city. Thanks for the Pokemon. Uh, 
the, the amount of time before this game is done giving you, you know, the don't oh powers of mysterious forces thank you weird guy mm -hmm. oh it's oh oh uh, mm, it's so weird he's like it got dark and mr bonding gave you an o power like who, who programmed this uh-huh mm-hmm okay get away from me in your weird pink suit all right why did it have to get dark why did it have to get dark? Here we go. We're going on. Route five. New Pokemon. Le oh, for the love of. Hello, awkward. Look at that. If we have to fight you right now, I'm going to be real upset. I do not want to fight two Lucarios. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Gah. Well, it seems like Lucario likes you. Thanks. See, Lucario can re can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made him take a liking to a stranger. All right, great. I'm Corona, the Shadow City Gym Leader. Not even the next gym leader. All right, go away. Cool, fun, 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 fun. Let's see. Oh boy, we could catch. Should we just go in this grass right here? I guess we should. Route five, new friend. Who's it gonna be? What can we catch? <gasps> a go, a skidoo. I was gonna say go go. Well, we just got a grass type though. Interesting. Interesting. Oh boy, halts your first fight is against the fellow grass typer. Uh, let's give it the old tackle, I guess. Kaboom. Mm hmm. Vine whip. Doesn't seem like the brightest goat I've ever seen out of the gate, but you know. I don't think you can leech seed other grass types. Let's just go for another tackle. Mm hmm. Go bam! Well, this is quite a fight we have going here. Isn't it? No, it's not. The question is would it even just be worth having a second grass type? Skidoo, pretty cool instead of like maybe mats on the team i don't know hmm i'm gonna go for another tackle here this should pretty much do it yeah yeah gross oh okay oh you got real tall kind of stretchy too that was weird uh back let's go for that pokeball and the great ball and the use all right this is our catch let's do it do doink hey hey skidoo i never used the skidoo to do da do Boom! We got it! Skidoo was cut! Yay! Alright. Halting 100 points. Skidoo's data was added to the Pokedex. Oh, we need a good name for this Skidoo right here. I've not used one. Uh, just Yeah, just grass type, so pretty good. I know uh, it's... I think you can ride one later in the game. That's kind of fun. Yep, we need a nickname. <laughs> Juge! Alright. Did the box with you this is our first pokemon in the box so um <clears throat> just to uh remind you of how our like six pokemon rule works we are we are now at a point where we could actually switch out of the box that we don't have to just use the pokemon we have um but we are also at a point where if uh we went into a fight and literally all six of our team members died we could still go to the box and get out juge and he could uh he would be our lone pokemon but we could continue on in the game that is how it would work all right um is it worth getting juge and just putting him inside i mean we've already got our grass type but like i don't know what we're gonna do with him. i don't i don't really feel like matt's is like gonna be a some big heavy hitter bug type or anything you know what you know what you know what we we gotta give we gotta give chances we we don't need two grass types let's see what else we can run into with mats maybe we'll just throw a little switch train right here what do we got what's it gonna be a pan champ ah now see this is what i wish we'd run into all of a sudden all of a sudden is like ah that's that's pretty cool oh pan champ would have been We'll be pretty, we have fighting type. That'd been pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh go to Tarth, I guess. Get that flying type out there. Pan jam. Mm, mm hmm That's okay. That's okay. Arm thrust. 
Yeah, that didn't do much. Page. Oh, it's, it's a double move. Oh, it's a triple move. Yeah, okay. Wonderful. That's what we were hoping for. All right, Gust! Do it! This is for you, Mats. Get that level, friend. Work up. I don't like this. Fortunately, I think you shall be dead before it will matter, but, uh... Still no good. Still no good. Gust! Yeah, you're dead. Dumb panda fighting thing. Hey, Matt's go to level 9. Yay, Matt's. Comet Punch. Hey, there you go. That sounds impressive. Is it? Who knows? Is that a fighting type move? That'd be funny if we were like, oh, no, we didn't get your fighting type. And then Matt's was like, but I can do fights. I can does fights. Look, please. Oh, no, it's not a fighting type. It's just regular old targets with the flurry of punches that strike two to five times in a row. So it's kind of like that, although it's kind of weak and not even very accurate. I don't understand moves like this where it's like, it's not going to be strong and it's not going to be accurate. Like, what is the point? I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. This is, this is how things go, though. I don't know. I don't know. And whoosh, look, just like that. Wardrobe change. Oh, whoa, totally weird. So uh, I have a weird update for you guys. As ever, when you have like new gear and stuff, you have a little bit of growing pains. So I was recording this episode in two parts. So I was just going to try and get through Route 5 here. Um, I got about halfway through. I came back the next day, recorded another 20 minutes or so. Uh, and that was going to be the whole episode. I stopped right here, actually just short of the end of the route, and I went to check my gear, and it turned out that it just didn't record, and I had already saved the game, so we missed about 20 minutes of this route, which isn't too much. Nothing too exciting happened, other than that we did get a few levels, so I'm just going to real quick show you what happened in the meantime. Uh, Axe got up to level 18 here this is good i didn't actually get a good chance to look at them yesterday anyway so we'll just revisit them all together so uh axe level 18 boom crushing it right there uh tom john hasn't seen much action got like one level we fought a weird battle with a plus a lot of mining where a single one of them gave four members of the team levels it was outrageous that was good tarth Still cruising up there at 14. Mats up to 13. Look at Mats. Mats has defeated his first Pokemon. It was a Bunnel Bee. It, it was a close fight, and we were like twice his level. So eh, we're still iffy on, on Mats at the moment. But uh, there's Holt, who goes there. <laughs> I'm not going to get tired of that joke at all. Like, when I say Holt, who goes there, like, meaning the who is Holt. <laughs> this is Holt, who goes there. He goes there. <laughs> and Glowio, 17. So, um, the, not, not too much has changed. Our, our strongest are still our strongest, but we've had a few levels here and there. We are three levels away from an Ivysaur and four levels away from a Pidgeotto. Five levels away from Ledian? I don't know. Or probably this isn't too far off. Everything's about to evolve is basically where we're at. And good news, even though yesterday I was like, man, I should stop recording. We are too, we are so near the end. Uh, actually, I, I left some, some runway for us. So let's go fight this guy. Um, he, I have no idea what he's going to have. Who should, we, let's lead with Halt who goes there. Maybe we can get to level 14. Hey, you, friend with the backpack. Stop walking and bite me. Yeah, you look like she's a traveler. I bet you're good at battle it too. Yeah, yeah. I am good at battling, dude. Biker Hikey. Hikey? His name is Hikey? And he's a hiker? Well, that's that's convenient right there. That's what I would call convenient. Yes, it is. But, uh, Halt is not afraid of you, Centret. Hit him with the leech seed. We did get sleep powder and poison powder. That was pretty good. You avoided the attack. Foresight. Oh, good. Good. Glad your Sentret had a magnifying glass. Yep. No, that's odd. I'm not a ghost. I don't understand why they ever use Foresight. I mean, it's fine with me. Free move, right? Even though I missed the first round. Huzzah! Nope, sorry. You've been seated! This guy has nowhere to run. He has no one to switch to. You can't escape. And I will just drink in 
The sap, I guess that's what it is. We don't have any attack now other than Vine Whip, though, so if we, uh... Whap! Bam, there we go. So we have to play a very careful game with Halt. That's why I think I'm gonna like the Leech Seeds, because they are, uh... One, they give us health. Man. I'm a big fan of Leech Seed on the Nuzlocke, because it's like, oh, I'll take health back at any chance I can get. And the computer doesn't switch very often, so if you hit them with it, excuse me, they are pretty much gonna take that damage, and you're gonna get some of it back, which is nice. Plus, if we can hit them now with our uh, combo of Poison Powder and Leech Seed, boom, that's super nice. It's a kind of a slower play style, but if we're against something big and strong, yeah, not not a bad way to go about it at all. Hey, this little kid looks like he wants to fight, doesn't he? Yes. Oh, is this kid? Is this a throwback? Did he say something about shorts? <laughs> Wonder why I always wear shorts. I think this guy is a straight up throwback to uh, the uh, Gen One kid who's like, I love wearing shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. I mean, they're easy to wear. How hard is it to wear clothes? We're all just out here hiking. Um, we're gonna switch, just, uh, I'm sure Halt can take down this Pan Sage, but just because it's gonna be a slow series of vine whips, we're gonna switch it out to, let's go to Tarth. Let's go, uh, um, yeah, let's go to Tarth. Switch out, get in there Tarth, you got this. Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't affect. Sorry, were you trying to lick? Uh, halt? I'm gonna have to halt you right there, friend. Boom. Yes. Does he... Okay, <laughs> Tarth just has this Pansage's number. We had a Pansage once. His name was Zafino. We called him Zaf. He died. It was sad. <sighs> there we go. Oh, Hawker to 14. Man, halt. There you go. He's so close to evolving, just like that, like on the route after we got him. The episode we got him, he might evolve. That's fantastic. I wish you'd gotten to see more of his fights, but alas, we did not. Are we here? Are we here? Yay, Camp Freer Town, hooray. I'm gonna try and see if we can't get him to evolve. Why not, right? Can we just fight some wild stuff for a second? Hello, Gulpin. Yes, go, halt. <laughs> what what an oxymoron. Go! Halt! What, ooh, which is it? Red light, green light, red light, green light! Ah, ah, who knows? Oh, this is, let's see here. Is this going to be an easy fight or is this going to be like annoying? Oh, it's going to be so annoying. Maybe we are not going to try. If we're going to have to sit here and fight uh, gulpins, maybe we are not going to uh, <laughs> try and evolve. Let's send out Tarth again. Do, do, do. Go, Tarth, go. Oh, this is going to be such a waste. Oh, my gosh. All right, never mind. This was a terrible fighting idea. Is there something we could fight that is not a gulpin? Please. Do, 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 do. Something else? Oh, no. What's this? Horde battle? No. <gasps> a plusle. Oh. Okay, so when I fought the... The plusle controlled by a trainer, though, it almost felt like I was fighting an Audino in that I got... A ton of experience from it. I don't know if that's like a, a thing with Plusle and Minin in this game. Ugh. Thunder Wave. You cannot halt halt. No, you cannot. Well, maybe you can. We'll see. Growl. Oh, boy. You just really want to draw this one out, don't you? This is why we should always use Leech Seed. Because then we'd have gotten the damage anyway. Even if we playing that what are you doing hey we did it let's see it let's see if we get no okay 182 yeah look at that weird amount of experience am i right was that outrageous or not if we go in here can i oh my god i was gonna say is it possible we could enter a town without being contacted by one of our dumb friends lysander labs oh look we've been this chap who is this lysander Okay, it's cool. It's fun. It's great. Where is the Pokemon Center? What is this? Camp Freer Town? Shinobu Castle. Where's the Pokemon Center? Here we go. There it is. All right. 
My goodness. My goodness. Heal my stuff. Heal me. Do, 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 loo. No one's really hurt or anything, but the paralyze is what I'm healing off here. Let's get ourselves a level. Uh-oh, this is a horde battle. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Gulpins for days! Yeah. I do not want to fight these guys. No, I do not. This is way too many. Run. Get away. Good. Glad to see it. Not about these horde battles. Unless we get a shiny. That would be insane. What do you got? Plus, oh, mine another gulpin. God, they're everywhere. I'm so glad we did not catch a gulpin. The go goat is seeming like a good catch all of a sudden. Uh, who can we have come destroy this thing? Uh, Chloe, yo, do you want to get in here? You want to do some damage? Give the people what they want? Nobly roar like no lion has roared before? Oh, what a weird sound. That's me yawning. Or that's a gulp and yawning. Headbutt. It's not going to matter. One hit kill, right? Boom. Oh, uh, it wasn't. Now we're asleep. I hate it. And this is going to get us like no experience anyway, right? Uh, status restore. Awakening. Look at this. Wasting my awakening on a wild Pokemon. I am. This is, this is an embarrassment. Oh, poison again. The thing is nothing but status effects and low experience. It's such a worthless fight. Uh, I'm so sorry. This is so annoying. Chloe was hurt by poison. Bite, headbutt, take this. You going down? The good news is I don't think you can die from poison while just walking around anymore in this game. Which is good. I don't even know if you take the poison damage anymore when you walk around. Like, let's see. Doesn't look like it. I want the plusle or the minin. Give me the plusle. Oh, it's a go goat. A skidoo. Sorry. I keep calling it go goat. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's, uh. We're gonna get the level off this either way because we're so close. Let's see if we can get Tarth out here. Yeah, because now we've got Vine Whip and it's just gonna sit there and do no damage at all in the meantime to, like, grass die Pokemon. Boop, that did nothing. Sorry. But Tarth will gust you? Gust you in your face? Yeah. Have a small tornado. Enjoy that. That was good. Vine whip. Mm-hmm. Cool. 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 Did nothing. Did nothing. Tarth laughs in your face. And then Skiddo was dead. Hawk grew to level 15. Yay. Takedown. Mm hmm. See, now we have a weird situation here because takedown, it would be nice if we had a move that wasn't just Vine Whip. Uh, but also, it would be nice. I don't like that takedown does recoil damage. I'm not about recoil damage. Not really. Oh, uh, it's such a weird situation we have going on here. Um. Hmm. You can't use like sleep powder and poison powder, so they sort of cancel each other out. But either could be good in the right situation. Yeah, I don't think we can learn takedown. No, 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 no. We cannot. Yeah, we can't risk recoil damage in Nuzlocke. That's not a, not about that life. Mm 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 mm. All right. Let's see. Let's get one more in. If it's if we can get another Plusle, then... Oh, it's a Doduo. Great. More things we should not fight. This is not good grass to train Halt in, apparently, because we're having to switch out so much. <laughs> He's not good at fighting anything in here. All these birds and other grass types. Alright, Axe, come in. Chop the heads off. Off with the heads. Literally, both of them. Water pulse. Oh, Cookie Knight's a smart Doduo. Mm hmm. Bamf. There we go. Awesome. You're dead. Sorry, Doduo. But not sorry. Hawking 88 points. Mm hmm. All right. Well, 
There we go. We have made it to Camp Friartown. We are probably going to evolve Halt in the next episode. Hopefully some other, hopefully it'll just be like a whole episode of evolution in the next go around. That would be amazing. Oh, what's that? Oh, item. Hey, X attack. That's pretty good. The battle items are pretty solid in the Nuzlocke. They are not to be overlooked. Always very good to make sure you've got them. Just in case, because sometimes you can like tell when your opponent's gonna give you a free turn or like a heal or something. And if you can time it right, you can get like a free X defend or something in there, which is super helpful if your Pokemon doesn't already have some sort of stat boosting in there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please leave a like on the video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes. If you would like to have a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave a comment down below. We name all the Pokemon after people in the comments, um, although, Pro tip, if your comment is, please name a Pokemon after me, that is a great way to make me ignore it. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that. But, you know, interact with the people down the Talk about, talk about things. Do the stuff, do the stuff. But uh, that's it for today. I will see you next time. Boom dead, ha! Huh?